Okay, I'm here today to speak about the Arabesque project, which is a geographical flow uh, visualization uh, application. It's a web application. I will try to uh, keep that schedule. Uh, speaking of a global project, which is called JFlowViz, uh, speak about the application we developed and uh, try to make a demonstration and speak uh, about the future uh, we see uh, so far. So the, the Arabesque application is part of the JFlowViz project, uh, which aims to uh, two things, gather information on uh, web mapping ap application dedicated to um, special temporal mobilities and flow uh, visualization to get insights of what is existing, what are the features, um, the pros and cons of each uh, applications. And from that, uh, develop a web application for uh, flow geovisualization geo uh, of flows, networks, and movements. Uh, there is a website you can go. It's a blog, uh, research blog, so we can check. But it's in French for now. But uh, we try to um, push it to English uh, sooner. There is a, a talk I gave uh, at the Force Forgery conference last year in uh, Bucharest. So if you want more information to, uh, about the uh, JFlowVis project uh, in itself, you can go check it uh, on the web. So let's speak about uh, Arabesque in details. So um, it's, like I said, Arabesque is an application, but it's dedicated to uh, a certain kind of data. It's for uh, flow and networks uh, uh, data only. It was made by um, a, um, a group of researchers in geography, computer vision, um, mostly from the Université Gustave Eiffel and the CNRS Research Center, which is the French uh, National Research Center, and several labs from the uh, National Research Center. Uh, so it's uh, a timid uh, application. It's available uh, at this URL, which is arabesque.ifstar. Uh, Ifstar was the research uh, comp is the research component of the Gustave Eiffel, but it was it disappeared when the Gustave Eiffel uh, was created in the first uh, of January this year. So it's pretty new and. Uh, everything is not working with uh, the, new, um, the new name. So this URL is still uh, working. It's, the source code is available, available on GitHub with a BSD2 close license. Uh, we use, um, of course, open source libraries, mostly web, li web libraries like OpenLayers or D3GS and uh, Turf for um, data handling. And some, uh, we provide some data sets to work with and to play with the application. So uh, it comes mostly from um, natural off or OpenStreetMap or custom data sets uh, we found online. So we divide the application in five major steps, like importing data. The m one of the most um, important things for us is to be able to import all data in, in it. So we provide these capabilities. Uh, it's links and or nodes. Like I said, it's networks um, and flow multiple um, visualization, flow data. So you need uh, at least links and maybe nodes. Uh, we provide some st statistical treatments. Uh, we aiming to add more in the future. You can explore and filter your, your data directly in the application. You also can be, you are able also, also to symbolize your data, to make a pretty map, uh, and save and export. So the interface is quite simple. There is uh, a middle panel, which is the map, which it shows you. Uh, the left panel is more for projection handling, adding layers, and uh, uh, um, administration stuff, and the left is uh, the right panel is mo much more about um, data manipulation and data handling. 
I will uh, detail those, but you can also uh, hide the side panels to get only the map or play with it. By default, uh, Arabesque, when you load data, uh, makes a default symbology and takes only the tenth, uh, the tenth more meaningful uh, information. So, for example, we only keep on this uh, data set 10% of the information of uh, the um, links, but it gives 83% uh, of the volume. Uh, okay, so let's keep some time for the demo. So this is not working pretty well. Yeah, but I will need to, if I want to see what I'm doing here. Okay. Yes, so I can see as well. <laughs> okay, uh, we will be playing today with uh, the uh, Ricardo dataset, which is uh, an historical dataset on trades between uh, countries. It was provided by the um, Media, Media Lab uh, Research Lab. Uh, it's a political research lab in Sciences Po Paris. Uh, if you if you have been here yesterday, uh, there was Paul Girard, which is uh, responsible for uh, this data set. Uh, you can have information. Of course, it's in uh, open source uh, li licenses. So it's in French for now because we make a presentation in France. So the data sets are available on uh, GitHub as well. So the code source <coughs> is available uh, of the Arabesque application is available on GitHub in the uh, Jflowviz uh, organization. And uh, the Sageo uh, Ricardo data set is provided um, also as well. So <coughs> I already downloaded on my computer to, to save some time. It's, it's a... Uh, a small data set, so this is uh, So the application, uh, the first panel shows you how can you um, directly how to load data. But if you want to use a demo before that, you can scroll down and get access to uh, the two demos we made available, like bike sharing in London. So you can see it's uh, a local um, uh, data set, pretty much local and Swiss commuting also, it's a more bigger scale. And uh, the Ricardo data set we, are be, we will be using today is a worldwide data set. So the applications scales automatically on your data. You only provide data on um, WGS84, um, um, it's on the projection, the reference systems, yes. <laughs> um, and everything works in, in that uh, reference system. In the application, you can change the projection to a local one if you want. I will show you something there. There is a gallery uh, you made uh, for screenshot to see uh, some uh, re realization and some information about uh, the projection, the, uh, the, the funding, the, the, the team, the contributors and some links, some useful, useful links. So if you click on uh, Explore by Shine, oh, not working, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So if you cl click on the demo, it should load. Uh, I had an issue with the uh, Larry, but uh, it's okay. Um, let's go back, to, sorry, to the Arabesque and see how we can uh, load data. So, as we can, as I said before, we need two kinds of data: uh, nodes and links. 
let's load the links. We called it edges uh, in this data set. So I click on browse, get a look to the data. And uh, we need to provide some information on it, like uh, the uh, origin ID and the destination ID, because each point needs uh, an ID. Each cities or starting point needs an ID. Uh, the volume is the quantity you want to represent. It might be people, it might be uh, goods, everything you want, anything you want. I want to import a location. And of course, I have an issue. So let me start again. Okay. Okay, destination, volume. So we, we also provide aggregation functions, like sum, mean, median, max. So you, you can uh, choose which aggregation you want. Let's keep the sum. Okay, it's fixed. So now I need to load some nodes. So I will be recording, uh, loading the nodes uh, data. And the ID are the same for our locations, uh, the uh, origin ID and uh, destination IDs, okay? So the, the application will be able to link things uh, to each other. So it's in lat long, of course. Like I said, it's in uh, WGS84. And uh, the application already makes a cleaning. First time you load something, if the nodes uh, are not linked to something else, or if you, you can find something, it will remove it. So first step of cleaning is already done by the application. Okay, and then you have something. It's not pretty, but it's already something. You have uh, already a representation of your data and then you can uh, work with it. So like this, it's just nodes and links in colors. Not very, uh, uh, it's a little bit meaningless. You know, you don't know where the things are. So let's add a, a new layer. Um, we have, we provide, we provide some base layers. Uh, so in add layers, we can add countries. Let's keep the feeling a little bit, uh, and the stroke a little bit stronger. So you can change the symbology quite easily. Uh, okay. And then we have a context. Okay, so it's still a little bit too, uh, too messy to work with, but you can have a context. So let's uh, remove this panel to give the map a little bit more space. And uh, we can work with the links. So let's say we want a square root um, formula to give the size and change a little bit the ratio. No the information is a little bit more uh, clear. So you can see the big, big uh, exchange have been between Europe and USA, mostly uh, the UK, and there is some other exchanges. So you can work like this, use different kind of uh, um, uh, rules to do that. You can hide things. If you don't want the nodes, you can hide them. Okay, uh, you can change, of course, the um, diver uh, diver diverging palette. Uh, for example, for nodes, uh, you can find uh, change the size on uh, the balance and uh, apply a coloring. To say, okay, it's this country is uh, giving more or giving less. Uh, you can use uh, degree, or it's connected to 
a numerous of uh, our cities, uh, of our countries, sorry, it's countries. So uh, in degrees, out degrees, so there is already uh, those kind of connections for network uh, visualization uh, available. Okay, let's see balance. <coughs> And it's not working. <laughs> Let's get back to something more. Um, okay. I have a bug. It's demo time, so I have an issue. It's okay, should be okay. Let's start again, a small. Destination, import location, and again, this error. This is an error we uh, already um, get no knowledge about, but didn't fix yet. We need to uh, dig, a dig a little bit to find the cause. Up, oh, it's volume. Okay, the ID is the ID and the lat long is the lat long. Okay, same. Okay, let's get back to a uh, uh, more. Um, okay, add layers, paste. I will just reduce uh, uh, the ratio by 100. Okay. Okay, let's just change the ratio so we have a less messy map. Like I said, we can also provide uh, filters. You can filter your data on some information. Let's say we don't just want the small exchange. Or uh, we just want the biggest one. So, okay. The data set is like that, so it's the big ones are just uh, UK to US. But you, you can add uh, more filters. Uh, maybe you want to filter on your links and just show. Um, let me think if it's category core. I don't remember. If you want. Uh, only the, um, the the exchange in the first half of the uh, 20th century, you can do that. And let's say, okay, uh, I want all the data, and you can have that. So you can filter all your data right in the application. How many time left? One and a half minutes. Yeah, okay. So you can add a little more filter each time you have uh, the percentage of the information represents. Uh, <coughs> it's available on the uh, arabex.ifstar.fr uh, URL. And let's go back to the presentation, which should be, uh, yeah. Let's talk about the future. So uh, for the future, the incoming year, we plan to rewrite the code base. So this is the first um, uh, release. And there is some bugs still. And we want to add new features. But before that, we want to rewrite. So we make a viable product, something working. But before adding new things, more stuff, we want to uh, make it more stronger and make the maintenance more easy. So we need to re rewrite a little bit uh, the, uh, the code base. And uh, after that, we will uh, provide new features like new indicators, uh, new filters, uh, try to work with bipartite uh, data set, uh, which is not uh, possible for, for now. And uh, for now, you can export. I didn't show you uh, that uh, feature that you can only export to uh, an image, to a PNG file. So we want to uh, provide the Vector format export, so you can 
uh, easily um, rework in Inkscape after one. And that's it for me. Uh, if you want to uh, try to connect to me, this one is working for now. This one is not working yet. <laughs> so that provides the two of us. Uh, and feel free to uh, come see us on the GitHub and fill issue if you find problems and want some direction. We are working on the documentation as well. So, uh, yeah. And this. Okay. Please come. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm up to any questions. If you have any questions, you can tackle this big guy later on if you're fierce enough. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I will leave it.